Hi, and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com. In this tutorial, we will go over how to make custom decals in CryEngine 3. We will go over how to prepare them in Photoshop, and then how to import them and set them up in CryEngine. So let's get started. First of all, we need some decals. For this, you can go to cgtextures.com. This is a great library full of textures with thousands of textures. In here you can go to the decal section and here you can find something you like. So let's see. I think we'll just start with some bottom textures and then just pick any one you like. So I do like this one. If you want to download them you do need to sign up but it's free. So and then you can download up to 15 MB every day. So let's download this one. So now we have downloaded it. Let's go to Photoshop, File, New, and make it around 1024 by 1024 and press OK. In here we can drag and drop the decal we just downloaded and set in the middle and press this little check button. So now you already have the decal in Photoshop. What we can do now is first we will resize the layer to remove the smart object and now we will select the canvas, we will go to the move tool and we, and we will press the arrow keys once. So this will select the entire object, then we will go to select, save selection and call it alpha. What this will do is it, it will tell CryEngine that, he, uh, that CryEngine only needs to pick the white parts of the image, which in this case is the decal. So this will make sure that there is no white around the decal. So now what we want to do is we want to go down at this round icon and go to solid color and press OK for now. Drag this under the decal and double click on the color and then pick the same color as the decal. So something like this. This will help CryEngine to remove all the white borders around the decal. So now we have done this. We can go to File, Save As, and then just go to your CryEngine folder, Game, in my case Objects, and let's just drop it here and call it decal underscore bottom one, and then save it using the Creative plugin. I assume that you already have this plugin and if you don't then you can look up a tutorial online on how to install it. Then press save, press save again and now we get this window. Uh, make sure that it is on diffuse underscore low Q and set the RGB to RGB alpha then you can already see the decal. So just press OK. Now what we can do is we can go to CryEngine. In CryEngine I just use the sample scene from Cry CryEngine itself. And then in CryEngine we, go, we can go to MISC, Decal, and that will just drag and drop a decal for us. You can press 1 to activate the move keys and then move it up a little bit. Like this. So let's turn off snapping for now and align to grid because we want to be able to move it freely like this and then move it more to the ground and for now just rotate it. So now we have this decal. What we want to do now is when selected the decal go to material and select it. Then you get the material editor. In here, let's just make a new material. So go to objects and save it wherever you want. I go 
I save it in my folder called testing and then add a new material in here also just go to the folder objects testing and let's call it decal1 and save it now we've done that what we can do is we can import the diffuse which is our decal so for this let's go to where you saved the decal <coughs> here we go and now if we assign it then go down to shader generation pentagrams and select decal now you will already see the decal so let's adjust some settings you can adjust the fall off of the decal to be nothing or to be almost done so let's set it around here you can adjust the alpha and in my case I want to darkening the decal I can do that by going to the freeze color and just drag it down or I can go back into Photoshop go to image adjustments levels and in here I can make it darker so let's just save that again here we go now if you go back we can see that the decal is darker let's scale it up a bit so we can see better and now I see that I want to lower down the alpha multiplier a bit I can also make a speckler and then gloss map or I can just adjust these values over here let's make it a bit darker so here we go we already have a custom decal in CryEngine so what we can do now is we can rotate it and I like to set on my snapping for this here we go and then you can set it against a wall maybe lower it down a bit and here you go what you can also do is in the decal tab you have a option called different what this will do it is is it will attach itself to the wall and now you will see that it will update all across the wall the only bad thing about this is that if you have any norm maps or height maps it will not show them, them anymore because it needs to attach itself to the wall as you can see now it's stitched to the wall or you can just turn it off and now you can just move the decal freely so this was how to make a custom decal in CryEngine. My name is Amos Segers and thanks for watching 3dmotive.com